Yeah, honestly, that made me a little nervous. Rattlesnakes! Don't drop it. Stop! Rattlesnakes! <laughs> I actually had this, bro. Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Jeep Solo Garage. I'm really excited today because we're gonna make some great progress on my 4.0 rebuild today. We're gonna try to get the uh, camshaft installed. It's a good day, let's get started. So first thing, let's uh, dig out my camshaft. Now this is a camshaft that was given to me by Engine Tech for this rebuild. Oops, don't lose that. So they gave me this kit to, uh, to do a product review on. And so far it's going really well. Here is my new camshaft. And I will be sure to include a link for this kit in the description below. So now I've got the uh, crank and pistons, all the plugs, all that installed. Now the camshaft bearings, they really need to be installed by the machine shop. Yes, it is possible to do it yourself. Uh, you have to buy a special tool for it, but you can really easily mess them up and tweak them, bend them, uh, just kind of get them in there wrong. So, you know, it's not that much to have the machine shop do it. So yeah, I agree. It's really worth the uh, cost to have the machine shop do that for you. All right, we flipped it over here so we can get a little better view. Now on your bearings, make sure that the uh, oil holes are all lined up correctly. That's these little guys here. Each bearing has a hole like that that needs to be lined up with the uh, hole in the block. So double check all those. Here's a good side-by-side uh, -side look at my old camshaft and my new one. And right here, some instructions. Engine tech, camshaft break-in, warning. This will be one of our most critical steps for our uh, engine rebuild here. With these uh, flat tapid cams right there, uh, you have to use a warning against using modern day engine oils to break in flat tapid camshafts. So when it comes to the engine break in, we'll talk about the oils and stuff we have to use. But for right now with the camshaft installation, we are gonna be using this cam shield from Engine Tech. It's their camshaft assembly paste. So we're gonna be using this instead of our regular assembly lube. So I'm gonna start by taking a little bit of the cam shield here, and I'm gonna hit all the bearings just to make sure that we get a good amount of lube on all these surfaces. So there's four bearings that the camshaft rides on in here. And one tube of this paste will do an engine. They also sell this in uh, larger quantities if you're doing uh, more than one project. But this will work for this project. Okay, now we can stick our new camshaft in and when we're putting it in, we're gonna be really careful. We're gonna go real slow and make sure that we're not you know, ramming it up against any of the new bearings because it's real easy to mark up or scratch the new bearings. So just, we're gonna go in real slow Let's take our cam shield here as well. And as I'm feeding it in, I have a lubricant, or I have a cam shield on all my bearings in there. But also we're gonna be putting it on as we're installing it as well. On all the lobes for the lifters here, as well as all the journals that ride on the uh, bearings there. And yeah, this is just one of those processes you wanna be real diligent about, real careful that you're getting every bit of the surface of uh, all these lobes of the camshaft and everything to, because the last thing we want is camshaft failure. So this is a good protectant, a real critical step. Once I have two of these journals lubed up, we'll very gently insert it here.
And now we'll get some cam shield on the rest of these lobes. And also on the uh, drive gear here for the distributor, we want to get some on that as well. Be sure to save a little bit if you get this uh, single pack like I have here. Be sure to save a little bit that we're going to put on the uh, lifters as we install the lifters and at the end of the push rods. Okay, now we can gently glide this in the rest of the way. I'm using my backhand here on the inside of the engine to help me gently glide it in. And now, yeah, honestly, this last little bit, it's fitting a lot tighter than I was expecting. So we're having to use a little bit of force to tap it in there to get it in place. I actually called my machine shop and asked them about that and just told them how tight this was fitting. And he said it's okay as long as, uh, you know, you can tap it to get it in place there. Um, I'm going to put the sprocket on the end here and a wrench, just make sure it turns nicely and is pretty smooth. And that's okay. If I have any other issues, I'll probably just take it out there to the machine shop have them look at it, but uh, I guess it's not to be that unexpected for it to fit pretty darn tight. Okay, with some uh, moderate beating on it there, well, tapping on it, we got it installed all the way, and it looks, everything looks real good, so let's see if it'll turn. All right, I got my old parts here. Let's find the bolt that goes on that uh, camshaft. Got everything all organized real nice here. Boy, that's dirty. Well, my bolt wasn't in there, but I literally have parts scattered all over the place. But my one saving grace is I've got everything labeled really well, so I'm looking for my, uh, see, here's my, all my valves. So I'm looking for my box that has my timing chain in it. I think that's where that bolt is. Here, there's a little Tootsie, the shop mascot. You helping me out today? Huh? Yeah? Aha! Found it! So I've got my old uh, timing chain sprocket here. Uh, this is off the camshaft and that's the bolt I need right there. So I'm just gonna clean that little guy up and uh, try it out. All right, let's throw our sprocket on here. We're gonna line up the pin with the hole there on our sprocket. My washer and my bolt here and let's see if this guy turns freely. Okay, so it turns pretty nicely. Whew, honestly, that was a little bit of like a heart attack moment for me. Like, oh no, this thing's gonna be bound up. It's gonna be too tight. The bearings don't, they're not right. I'm gonna have to take it out to the machine shop. Like, oh! Yeah, honestly, that made me a little nervous. And I'd like to give a real special thank you out there to my patrons who help support the Jeep Saw Garage. I really appreciate you guys. I'm glad my videos have helped you out. If you're interested in helping support the Jeep Saw Garage, the Patreon page will be linked here and in the description below. So that's it for today. I'm gonna wrap it up, put the rest of this stuff away. Thanks for watching, have a good day. Let's see if I can make this hat toss. Oh, close enough. Yeah, you got food. You're good.